Hello Malaysians, uh, my name is Professor Dr. Muhammad Tajuddin Mak Rasti and I would like to make a comment on the recent news uh, about Chief uh, Perak Pas Chief Razman Zakaria uh, calling out unity among those with eyes like him, those with skin like him and those with blood like him against an event in Perak uh, noted to be uh, something about glorifying the Chinese or the Chinese or mainland. Now, in this uh, news, uh, what I would like to talk about is that uh, is Pas Razman uh, advocating a kind of racist Islam as opposed to what the Prophet Muhammad had set out, particularly in his um, final sermon. But I would also like to talk about aspects of uh, uh, Chinese people in terms of Islam and also the idea of that Islam does not support this concept of discriminating uh, people from uh, the color of the skin or their eyes or in fact their blood. Now, in this incident, uh, past Chief Razman Zakaria uh, talked to the uh, uh, supporters in saying that only we who have eyes like me, skin like me, and blood like me must unite in order to defend this country. Now, what does he mean by that in relation to the event? Does he mean that only uh, people who I assume he's talking about Malays are the only ones that are loyal to this country and that others are not. So firstly, I would like to ask Razman and Pas, what about the 62,000 members of Club Ahli Club Penyokong Pas? As we can see in the statement of Tuan Ibrahim Tuan Man, Dewan Himpunan Pendukung Pas, iaitu dulu Club Penyokong Pas merupakan sebuah platform khas untuk orang bukan Islam yang ingin bersama PAS memperjuang sebuah negara yang adil berkebajikan dan bersih untuk semua jumlah ahli semasa di HPP adalah lebih kurang 62,000 orang and the leader is N. Bala Subramaniam as far as I understand it so I would like to ask PAS and Razman where are these people in relation to your statement that only only those of his same skin color because obviously those in the club Penyokopas are not of the same skin color or even uh, the same eyes and in fact in a sense uh, not of one particular race uh, in terms of blood ancestry so this is a question to pass is are they advocating a religion or a politic of uh, racial discrimination because of the obvious references to skin color as well as other uh, aspects of uh, the human anatomy. Then I would like to also mention that uh, uh, Muslims in China were the first to be present uh, in relation to Islam. If we were to look at this uh, uh, statement uh, in uh, some of the uh, um, information on the internet according to Chinese Muslims traditional accounts Islam was first introduced to China in 616 uh, to 18 by the companions of Muhammad Sa'ad Ibn Abi Waqqas Wahab Ibn Abu Kapcha and another it is noted in other accounts that Wahab Bukacha reached Canton by the sea in 629 a common era. So it's uh, a note that uh, the Muslim companions of the Prophet, in fact, were there first in China before uh, they came to the Tanah Melayu. And there is no record of any companions, meaning persons during the time and life of the Prophet Muhammad uh, or those who knew the Prophet Muhammad had come to the Tanah Melayu, showing that Muslims were first, in a sense, um, Chinese Muslims were there first before uh, perhaps the Malays. 
We also have another report about the Huai Sheng Mosque. The first mosque in China was the Huai Sheng Mosque in Guangzhou, built during the Tang Dynasty in 627 Common Era. And uh, so this is again uh, an indication that the people of a different skin than uh, Rasman had established Islam in another country. So uh, I need to remind uh, Rasman and Pas that those who are not the same skin as Rasman and perhaps Rasman and I have the same skin, that others were there before uh, either one of our ancestors as Malays became Muslims. These are the facts of history. Now coming closer to home, I would like to uh, inform Razman of past and also past members of the history of Masjid Kampung Hulu in Melaka. Masjid Kampung Hulu in Melaka is one of the oldest mosques in uh, Tanah Melayu that we know of. And it is stated here Masjid Kampung Hulu dibina oleh seorang Muslim Cina bernama Datuk Haji Shamsuddin. Beliau bukan sahaja bertanggungjawab sebagai arkitek tetapi juga menanggung segala kos pembinaan masjid ini. Obviously, um, Haji Shamsuddin, uh, who came from the mainland China, uh, was of a different skin color than Razvan. So, here we see that these are people of a different skin color that has contributed to not only Tanah Melayu, but also to Islam in Tanah Melayu. Now, I would also like to inform uh, Razman of Pass about a book, uh, one of my favorite books, uh, Islam in Malaysia, an Entwined History by Professor Khairuddin al Junain. I recommend highly that he reads this book as well as others to know about how Islam came uh, to Malaysia or to Tanah Melayu. Now, in his book, he said that in uh, um, one of the uh, documents in China, in the seventh year of Yunglo, uh, the emperor ordered the principal envoy of the Grand Eunuch Cheng Ho and others to assume command of the treasure ship and to take the imperial edicts and to bestow this chief two silver seals, a hat, a girdle, and a robe. Cheng Ho set up a stone tablet and raised the place to a city and it was subsequently called the country of Manlaxia or Malacca. Thereafter, Xian Lo of Siam did not dare to invade it. Thus, in this book, uh, Professor Khairuddin al um have suggested that it is the power of the China, Chinese uh, emperor and their armada as well as their military power, which was not Muslim, uh, was the one who protected Malacca, which was Muslim at that time. So Cheng Ho, who came uh, to Malacca, was himself a Muslim, actually. And he is also a Chinese, meaning a person of a different skin color than Razvan. So to talk about patriotism, to talk about the idea of defending uh, Tanah Melayu, I think um, people of a different skin color may also contribute significantly than those from Parti Islam, some Malaysia, and the likes of Razman. Now, finally, I would like to uh, read one paragraph of the Prophet's final sermon, in which the Prophet Muhammad himself said, There is no superiority of an Arab over a non-Arab, or, or of a non-Arab over an Arab and no superiority of a white person over a black person or of a black person over a white person except on the basis of personal piety and righteousness. I need to remind Razman of past and also past members that the Prophet Muhammad himself rejected the idea that uh, people are different and preferred by God simply because of their race, meaning in one sense, their skin color, or even their eyes, or even so-called their blood. Even though uh, 
many people must understand that our blood can be um, exchanged because our blood, whether they are classified in a certain manner, uh, can be used for other people of different race. And this is a biological entity or a biological uh, fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to show that man must not discriminate against each other by social or political classification but only by being good as well as uh, being kind and, and, and compassionate to uh, each other. So with that I would like to conclude by saying that uh, Razman of past uh, has shown that perhaps past is not interested in the 62,000 members who are of different skin color and also uh, is someone who blatantly declares that patriotism and contribution of Malaysia can only be done by a person of one particular skin color, not of all the various colors of skin, or of all the various kinds of eyes, and of all the various faiths, all the various cultures, except only one. And that uh, is something uh, for me to be a very dangerous message and a message of destruction to our uh, national harmony and our way forward uh, into the future. So with that, I hope Malaysians uh, can uh, advise Parti Islam of Malaysia and uh, Razman of Pera uh, to be learning more of history of Islam itself and also history of the country itself and also history of other people of different skin colors rather than his narrow-minded view of the world. Thank you very much.